evening, ladies and gentlemen, here we are outside of the Natal Bay Hospital, where my school teacher, my early childhood school teacher, Miss Gurney Brown. Here I am, ladies and gentlemen, right beside my school teacher, Miss Gurley Brown. She's right there. And it's an honor for me to come here and to pay my respect to a great human being, Miss Gurley. She did everything for me when I was a little kid. And um, it's the least I can do to drive all the way from Kingston to come here today to pay my respect to one of the greatest school teachers I have ever known, right? And that is Miss Gurley Brown. I know she's hearing me right now. I told her how much I love her. And I'm very happy to be here to come see her and to pay my respect to her as a great, great, great human being. And we all should do that. We all should take our time out, even though sometimes we're very busy. We have a lot of things to do. That is very important, don't get me wrong. But nothing can be important or more important to come into where your soul and your heart lies. And to, don't, not money, but that word, I love you, in life, it's very, very, very important. And I want to say this to her again, Miss Curly. Here, she's right there. I love you very, very, very much. I love you, Miss Curly. I love you so much because you have done so much for me and my family. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, just a moment of thought here. I am at the Anata Bay Hospital, and I'm here visiting my early childhood school teacher, Miss Curly Brown. And um, it's a bittersweet thing because, as you can see, she she looked like she might be going. I'm, I'm hoping she can stay with us for a lot more years, you know, but she looked like she's traveling, as we call it. And it's a wonderful experience for me to be able to say again while she's alive how much I love her. And she, I don't know if she heard me, but she rocked her head a little bit. And that is a sign to me that she, she heard me. And um, it's, a, it's a very bittersweet moment. But I give thanks to the Almighty for helping me to get here by any means necessary. And to come and to pay my respect to a great, great, great human being, Miss Curly Brown. And I want to tell all of you out here watching this, try and take some time out. I mean, if you can, if your relatives are in a foreign country and it's impossible for you to reach there, try and call, even a phone call, you know, and tell that person how much you care on a day-by-day -day basis. So if the worst come and that final call, which it must come, you're going to cry, but at least it will be mixed tears of joy and tears of sorrow. Saying that at least you did what you had to do and to come pay your final respect. Miss Girl Brown, you look great. <laughs> you look great. And um, I know you're going to hang in there for your 92nd birthday. I we're planning something special for you. I don't know what it is yet, but... I'll see you in your 92nd birthday, Miss Curly. All right, just hang in here for me. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, on the balcony of uh, the woman's ward in our Nata Bay. Pay my respect to Miss Gurley Brown. Doctor, thank you all for looking out for Miss Gurley. Um, she looks wonderful, she smells fresh and clean. And that tells me that uh, you are doing a fantastic job, okay? Um, this is what I want to say though. I want to uh, kind of remind you because I keep saying it. If you have a loved one at the hospital, one of the greatest things you can do is to come to the hospital and pay a visit. Because when you come out and look for the people who are sick and they see your face, your ugly face and your good looking sweet bonanunas face like my face, they're going to feel good. And even if they can't hear you, um, I mean, even if they can see you, they can hear you, all right? And telling them that I love you as many times as you possibly can, can do the damage, it can only help that patient to recover. All right, you know, on the 11th of May this year, 2017, Miss Gurley Brown celebrates her 92nd birthday. And tell you what, it's going to be 
the biggest birthday and as it's going on, what are we going to do? Go on the beach and she just shake her head. So guess what? Margaret, get this girly swim, we are together. We eat in the beach. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, here you are. It's a beautiful day. As you can see, the police officers, they are here working assiduously to keep crime under control in the parish of St. Mary. I think they're doing a remarkable job. Uh, recently, there was a, a most wanted that was recaptured by the police of this area. I think they're doing a tremendous job. One thing I can say, they should raise the pay for the police to make them get some more money. Police need enough money, you know. You know, see the land tax gone up. You know, see this gone up, that gone up, everything gone up. Police want more money. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I had a ball. I'll see you later in Enfield. A big story.